Hey there, Matt from Wetham Solutions here, and in this video I've got five points for website owners. Number one, photography is so important. If I were to list the top three most important factors in design, photography would definitely be one of them. Now photography in most cases, it should be a separate project from your website. Your products, your facilities, and your staff, these are all key items that photography is needed for. Now stock photography is also beneficial for illustrating concepts uh, rather than actual products, uh, but if you're in product sales, tangible product sales, be sure that you either have very good photos from the product manufacturers or that you have photos taken of your products directly. Number two, be informed and have proper expectations on search engine optimization. As a website owner, it's important to know how search engines work and then from that knowledge you can determine whether doing website optimization is something that you can handle internally or something you need to outsource. Quite often as web developers uh, we have new clients who request as part of their website that they also be the top position of Google searches. And while this can often be achieved when the Google search is the actual company's name, uh, it's unrealistic to expect a brand new website with a small budget that has not established any reputa reputation whatsoever uh, to overthrow the leading competition. And uh, you know, as you learn more about SEO, you can be better positioned to thrive in that arena and you can manage your expectations better. Number three, put something interesting on it. One of the most important ways to have your site uh, take off in terms of popularity and build reputation is to have something interesting and valuable and worth sharing on your site um, that with the goal that people will see it and then they'll pass it on to others. So whether they pass it on by you know, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Pinterest, uh, by emailing it to people or by sharing it on their website or their blog. Um, that's one of the most important things you can do as a website owner. If your website only has commercial information on it, then you're missing this point altogether. Here's a couple of examples of what I mean, uh, you know, interesting content that you might, uh, people might find worthy of sharing. Uh, number one, uh, a video that you've created, whether it's like the one that you're watching right now that we're doing, uh, informational and just narrative, uh, or simply a PowerPoint presentation with a voiceover. Uh, number two might be uh, an infographic, uh, which is basically information that's presented in a, in a really interesting and easy to follow way, uh, like the one that I've shown here in the video. Uh, third idea might be a poll. You know, people love to cast their vote on anything that's opinion related or something that's related to their interests. So make sure that the, that, you know, the poll results show right away um, when you do the poll on uh, your website. So as soon as they click the, uh, their vote, then uh, they can see what everybody else has cast their vote for and, and the percentage, of course. Uh, a fourth example might be a helpful article uh, in the form of a blog post. And uh, you know, a fifth example could be some kind of a tool or a widget, uh, like maybe a return on investment calculator or a test on the viewer's knowledge of a particular issue with the result at the end. Number four. Copyright infringement is serious. Don't do it. <laughs> Ripping off content from other websites is not only wrong, but it hurts your website in the long run, and it exposes you to liability for copyright infringement. Make sure that all the text and photographs that you use are original, and or that you've got permission from whoever created them, of course. It's better to have a coming soon page on your website than a page that has text that's copied from another website. Number five, change your design every three to five years. As a web developer, I can testify to the fact that every year, literally every six months, uh, there's something significantly different about the way we build websites, either due to new advancements in technology, uh, new requirements for being successful at showing up in search engines, or simply a new trend in design or functionality. Now because of this, if your site's more than five years old, you could be missing out on any of these items I previously mentioned. Budget for a new site every three to four years, but at the very most five. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please pass it on to others. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, please click the subscribe button for a YouTube subscription or to subscribe by way of our mailing list, fill out your email on the right side on our website. Thanks again.